Hey there and welcome to another Fortnite action figure review. Today we are taking a look at the latest legendary series from Jazzwares. It is the Brat. There he is, you can see him right there. We're going to flip the box around, take a peek at the back, and there, well, there's the back. Relish the wins. Oh, that's a corny joke. Or is it a hot dog joke? I don't know. Got the cross sale down here. We have talked about every one of them except for P1000. For some reason, I haven't gotten to P1000 yet, and I'm really behind on that. Maybe we'll get to it this week. Anyway, let's get this guy out of the box, take a look at the figure, and have a lot of fun. Be right back. We have him out of the box, as you can see, his accessories are all piled around. We're gonna take a look at the accessories first, then the figure. He comes with a harpoon gun, a really nice looking pump shotgun, a crossbow, that's a big crossbow, a hat that can be worn either forwards or backwards. This character usually wears his hat backwards. The Knockwurst Harvesting Tool. This one's kind of cool. It's got some mustard on this, uh, well, uh, weenie on a stick, I guess is how you want to say it. Hot dog on a stick. The Cooler Back Bling. This uh, looks like actually has fish stick uh, already in there, hanging out. I guess this guy got hungry. But anyway, this Cooler Back Bling belongs with the Bigfoot set. So if we ever get Bigfoot, well, we have his Back Bling ready to go. Besides the face that's already attached to the figure, we get this extra face as well. So we got one of him smiling and one of him looking, what, maybe like amazed or astonished or uh-oh. Before we deck this guy out with any accessories, we're going to take a look at this figure itself. And I gotta say, I'm continually impressed by what figures Jazzwares release. You know, Fortnite is, does not have a limit, as I'm as far as I'm aware, there's no real limit on the types of figures or characters or skins they release. And so, you know, there's just a lot of amazing ones. And, well, this is another one. So, uh, let's see. The Brat is a rare skin. He was released Chapter 2, Season 1, and he's part of the Missing Link set. You know, here's some links right here on his arms. And he's available in the item, well, when he's available in the item shop, he's you can get him for 1,200 V-Bucks. Yeah, I just, it, this is an amazing hot dog figure. Oh, look at that. I just now noticed, bef uh, before I didn't, but uh, he's got like, I don't know, a grill stain mark on his back. And there's where the back bling goes, the hole there. The bun is removable. I'll kind of show you that. It's softer rubber. It's not super soft, but it is a little bit pliable. Pull his arms back, and then you can just slide that right on off. Pretty easy. I'm not trying real hard. I'm not going to take it all the way off. Uh, he's got like a necklace of sausage around his, well, neck. So we're going to slide this back on. I want to do the range of motion with this on because, well, that's what the, the skin is. It's got this on. It's, it's, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> So his arms rotate all the way around. They both do. Uh, he's got a small butterfly joint. Not much. No, he doesn't have one, actually. Uh, bicep rotates all the way around. He's got the double pin arms right there. His wrists do rotate and have a hinge back and forth, the horizontal hinge. And the fingers have that hinge that I'm not a huge fan of. There's no neck rotation. There's no chest rotation. There is simply and only a waist rotation. So that limits a little bit of articulation. There's a little bit more like Peely, where like this portion doesn't really move. Uh, his legs move around. They do. They split about that far. He has thigh rotations right there. Double pin knee. And he's got sock, <laughs> calf, whatever. There's a rotation right here at the top of his socks. Uh, you're going to want to be careful. The ankles rotate, but they seem to get off. If you see, there's the hinge there. They, they kind of get off sometimes. So you may have to hold on to the sock while you rotate the shoe until you get to the right uh, positioning. But there's, a, there's the hinge on the ankle, the rotation on the ankle, and the toe hinge. And that's that's it. That's where he moves. That's what he does. 
I'm gonna grab his hat because he looks really kind of bare here. Let's just pop his hat on there real quick. And there we got the brat looking a little bit more like himself. Of course, if you want to, you could take that off and do that. Probably a little bit less like himself. But uh, yeah, anyway. So let's get this guy geared up. Let's take a look at him and see what he looks like with his stuff on. He's holding some accessories, and one thing I'll point out is that like most harvesting tools with most of these Legendary Series figures, it can be pretty difficult to get him to hold this one. It's a very slender pole, and just this hinge in the fingers, you have to get it. It's kind of wedged in there right now, but if you move him around too much, it's going to just slide around if you see, you know, it's really not there. You have to wedge it a certain way, and if you don't wedge it a certain way, then... Well, it's not going to stay. It's a little bit disappointing. It's still the frustration I have with these hinges. I really overall do not like these hinged fingers. And I apologize because I say that in so many of these videos. It's not like I can get anything to, you know, done. However, the pump shotgun seems to fit in his hands quite nicely, uh, even with the, hand, uh, the hinge. It's more of a, well, slender place to hold and even if it's a little bit loose you can see it's loose there he still is holding on to it so that helps a little bit it's not like it's about to fall out of his hand you can kind of grab his squeeze tighten his hand down just a little bit there like that and he holds on to that actually really pretty good I will remove this put the crossbow in his hand this one's a little bit more difficult he can hold it uh, but you have to kind of wedge it in there. Um, I'm re I'm really not sure how the the hinge thing really makes it through the whole design process. I would think their prototypes that they mess around with have the same problem, and I don't know I, I don't know why this would pass after all this time. And I know other toy lines have done it, but it just I don't know. Unless these are looser than usual, than other toy lines I'm used to, I don't know. But you can finally get his kind of hand wedged around that thing. And yeah, he looks kind of like that, holding on to it. We'll take this off now. Grab the harpoon gun. Oh, he's just realized he's got like a compass or something right here on his right wrist. Now, the harpoon gun is big and bulky. It's a big item, and it's kind of a little bit more difficult to hang on to. His arm looks weird. He's got slender arms, and they kind of look weird when they're bent. I would say the harpoon gun is a little bit more difficult for him to hang on to. So, yeah. So, let's get the back bling off. Let's get all this stuff. We're going to move it off to the side. Let's look at the interchangeable face here real quick. The best way to change out this face is to pull the jacket, the bun off, I don't know. Get in there with your thumb, be real careful because I haven't had this happen yet, but there's a chance the glasses could rip off pretty easy if you're a little bit too rough. Try to get your fingernail under the edge to pop it out. And you just shove the next one back on, we'll put the hat back on. He has a different look to him now. It's amazing what a face will do. What your facial, facial expression will do when somebody else sees it. Now he looks a little bit concerned, a little bit nervous, doesn't he? So anyway, yep, there we go. We've got, put his uh, pump shotgun back in his hand there. I do things weird on camera, like lay them down to put accessories on, on them <laughs> anyway. All right, so there we have the brat. Legendary series Fortnite action figure from Jazzwares. Thank you for taking this trip and this ride with me. It's a little bit uh, in and around, and we finally got it done. Got some accessories on him. Got to look at the figure. If you found this helpful or informative, please, you know, drop, not drop, but uh, click that thumbs up button. That helps the channel a lot. If you want to be notified when more of these types of videos come out in the future, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification icon, and you will be notified. Other than that, I can't really think of much of anything else to say except for thank you for stopping by and watching. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video.